Hey, what's up? So, um, yeah, that's right. I am finally, finally back on track. I know, I know, it's been a while, but uh, I had to go on vacation for two weeks to recharge and also to escape reality, if you know what I mean. But uh, it worked out pretty well, gotta say. Had a fun time, had a great time actually. But it's also good to be back home and uh, talk to you guys, stand in front of this camera and make people excited for everything VR. And it seems like I have returned at the perfect moment as there is news about the Oculus Quest uh, 3. Apparently, it's in the works. What a surprise! But what does that mean to you and me at this very moment? And more importantly, what does it mean to our wallets? Well, let's dive into it, shall we? Uh, for some context, we first have to travel back to the very beginning. So. Hop into that uh, DeLorean with me and prepare for a little throwback. Because in 2019, on May 21, Facebook launched the Oculus Quest. And you could buy this all-in-one VR headset for $3.99 in US dollars. This completely new device quickly proved that being in VR without the need of a computer was the golden formula and still is today. But because of that, not much later, on October 13, 2020, Facebook already released a revision that we know as the Oculus Quest 2. The price dropped significantly to just $299 and the rest is history. Since its launch it has been breaking every record. We have seen a huge growth in user base. Developers are selling their games like, like they are hotcakes and Facebook's factory is working overtime. You don't want to know how many headsets are rolling off that conveyor belt. It's crazy. Well actually we do want to know, but hey, um, even I myself have seen a lot more people getting subscribed, uh, being interested in the content I make, and also our Discord is rapidly growing. Link is in the description below, by the way, just some uh, shameless self-promotion right there. But anyways, all of this has come to a climax with Mark Zuckerberg saying that the Oculus Quest 2 is on track to become the first mainstream virtual reality headset. This information didn't come out of nowhere. This came to light after a recent earnings call he had with investors, but it is a huge uh, statement we have not heard before. Now, to be able to understand what mainstream means in terms of uh, numbers, we have to park our car in front of the convention center at San Jose. Because I don't think many of you will know this, but in, in 2018 at Oculus Connect, an event by Facebook where everything gets announced from new hardware to games, Mark Zuckerberg said the following. The big question is, what is it going to take for it to be profitable for all developers to build these large efforts for VR? And to get to that level, we think that we need about 10 million people on a given platform. That's the threshold, where the number of people using and buying VR content makes it sustainable and profitable for all kinds of developers. And once we get to and cross this threshold, we think that the content and the ecosystem are just going to explode. Importantly, this threshold isn't 10 million people across uh, all different types of VR, because if you build a game for Rift, it doesn't necessarily work on Go or PlayStation. So we need 10 million people on each platform. Funny right how uh, time Mac flies because back then he was still talking about the Rift and the Go. Those have now disappeared into the background because three years later there's only one platform left that Facebook actively seems to be putting time and effort in and that's the Quest platform. So looping back to the question what does mainstream mean to Facebook? Well in Zuckerberg's eyes VR going mainstream translates into around 10 million users to start with and it's insane to think that the Quest 2 is on its way to hit that mark. <laughs> See what I did there? But hey we should of course not forget that a part of that number uh, exists out of original Quest users, people who bought a Go and Rift or Rift S, but the biggest chunk definitely comes from their new headset. Nevertheless, the fact we are getting closer to the tipping point of VR going mainstream is a very exciting uh, thought, but also a concerning one, as we still have seen no competition whatsoever in the market. But maybe, just maybe, fingers crossed, this has to happen first to get the big tech companies interested. I wouldn't be surprised that the Quest 2 will be hopping over the 10 million mark in a few months from now. But even if it wouldn't be able to make the final push, it's not a big deal as it already set uh, things in motion anyways. That's where the Oculus Quest 3 comes in. Because on top of talking about Quest 2's success, Mark Zuckerberg also talked about their next step. 
He said, we're continuing to work on new hardware as well. The new hardware will fit the same platform, so the content that works on Quest 2 should be forward compatible with the new hardware. So that we're going to build one larger install base around the virtual reality headsets that we have. So I don't think it comes as a surprise to anyone here that all that got said during this earnings call points towards a potential Quest 3 or whatever it's going to be called. They could also go for a complete rebranding. Uh, it will probably be another all-in-one VR headset, a HMD that is more powerful with new tech on board, a lighter and smaller uh, design, and hopefully with an ecosystem full of awesome VR applications, experiences, and games. With that being said though, what all of this news comes down to is that Facebook is saying that them taking over Oculus and the investments they have made throughout the years are finally paying off in a big way, proving that VR is here to stay. So yeah, looking at the bigger picture of everything that got said, I, I don't see any proof that they are having plans to launch a Quest 3 anytime soon. But with Facebook, you never know. <laughs> I personally think it's highly unlikely that they are going to sell something new this year. But looking back at the time window between the original Quest and the Quest 2, everything is possible. A, a more logical step in my eyes would be that they are aiming for 2022, as the ecosystem right now isn't ready for the masses just yet. Uh, don't get me wrong, hardware-wise, I am always ready for the next big uh, thing, as that's what this channel is all about, but in my opinion, there is still a lot of work that needs to be done before they can start selling a uh, Quest uh, 3. For example, the platform still lacks a decent friend system, a social baseline that allows users to connect with each other in personal and immersive ways. If you want to go truly mainstream, Stuff like this needs to be ready to go, especially if you are a company like Facebook who wants to go full social. But also, a total different subject in terms of games, we are still seeing loads of parts. And there is nothing wrong with that, but it shows that the Quest 2 still relies on the content from Quest 1 and PC VR. Another thing is an inconsistency in genres. We seem to be getting a new shooter almost every month. Well, the multiplayer, puzzle, strategy, hand dragon games are still underpresented, sadly. And also dry periods in terms of releases are still happening on the store. But luckily, with developers making more money than ever before and Facebook selling headsets like there is no tomorrow, we start to slowly move forward into the direction we should be going and problems that I just mentioned are slowly disappearing as we speak. Uh, announced games like Project 4, Sniper Elite, Assassin's Creed uh, and Splinter Cell, I should not forget about that one, are early results that things are maturing. And this is the same story for virtual workspaces. There are people right now who are using their Quest to remotely work from home and that's awesome. So there are plenty of examples of how the success of Quest 2 has been driving more applications, more experiences and uh, games. I, I could be going on forever, but all I'm trying to say here is that the hardware sales are there, but that the next step is improving the software and library. The original Quest and 2 are simply not done innovating. If things are continue to grow at this rate, it's a matter of time that the ecosystem catches up with the hardware and then, then we can talk about the Oculus Quest uh, 3. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to slam that like button. Also join our Discord if you haven't already. Link is in the description below. Until next time and see you in the metaverse. Bye bye.